Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, the most important news from the Holy Father and the Vatican. On September the 8th, Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history, died at the age of 96 at Balmoral Castle in Scotland after a brief illness. Pope Francis, in a telegram, offered his condolences and wrote, I willingly join all who mourn her loss in praying for the late Queen's eternal rest and in paying tribute to her life of unstinting service to the good of the nation and the Commonwealth. Her example of devotion to duty, her steadfast witness of faith in Jesus Christ, and her firm hope in His promises. The role of the Church in a world shaken by war and other global issues was a subject Pope Francis raised with his diplomatic representatives around the globe during a meeting at the Vatican. The Holy Father warned against the risks of nuclear escalation and the grave economic and social consequences. In his official address, Pope Francis thanked the diplomats for bringing his closeness to the peoples and churches. Approximately 150 Catholic bishops attended the first week-long session of the formation course in Rome after a COVID-caused hiatus. The seminar for bishops, usually held annually, culminated in an audience with Pope Francis in the Vatican's Clementine Hall on September the 8th. The Vatican did not release any information about what was said during the meeting. After some German bishops blocked a vote demanding changes to the Church's teaching on sexuality during the German Synodal Way, organizers voiced their displeasure with the outcome and vowed to take it to Rome. Bishop Georg Batzing expressed personal disappointment that a blocking minority of bishops prevented the document pushing for changes to the Church's teaching on homosexuality and gender identity from being officially adopted. Pope Francis has exhorted Catholics in Germany in a 2019 letter to follow a path of synodality that seeks the new evangelization, but also warned of not wanting to have another what he called Protestant church in Germany. With the next World Youth Day less than a year away, Pope Francis has promised that a Pope will be in attendance. In an interview with CNN Portugal, the Holy Father said that he plans to attend the 2023 World Youth Day. It is scheduled to take place in Lisbon next August. I plan to go. The Pope is going to go, he said, either Francis or John the 24th. But the Pope is going, he choked. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. I'm Andreas Tonhauser for EWTN Vaticano.